of a response from our honoree, ladies and gentlemen, of the Person of the Year Award, Sir Franklin Wilson. Thank you. Mr. Prime Minister, you know, I assume at some point, I don't know whether we're going to start calling him most honorable or right honorable or something, <laughs> but uh, until such time, I saw Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Jones, management staff, this organization. Let me begin by saying, when, when I was George, the ones with I still try to figure out how this happened. That happened. But with every Saturday, which had some of the was somewhere. He was in that capacity on the editor of the book, I to say what he should not do. So he may have been saving drugs <laughs> or like at the airport, somewhere I know. Consistently, no planning, just excellent. And folks, two days ago or yesterday, they needed to retire some. Was the chief executive office of the chief of the siblings built all these years? Ladies and gentlemen, at some point, we have to create an organization. Let's call a revolution. Now, as for myself, I thank Mr. Jones and his organization. I thank his organization. Because you notice, so again, people, greatness often is in details. Once confused, was the chief executive officer. All of us older people in this room are near chief executive officer, uh, JC, and you think Lendl Jones. I think that was clear. The fact of the matter is, I've been with the Nice Church. See, I didn't share my wife. It's whatever they give me. <laughs> she got me at, at least half. When I started, FR was being put in. We had half of the building, which is even now looking at skills. Get out. I can afford no clean up. My wife and I can work. That's my opinion. As my girlfriend, I got elected to Parliament in part because part of people like that food cake. So the fact of the matter is, then family, I like to do all these things. They're not going to see it. And then, which way they must go? Good son in laws and one daughter in law. I tell Jimmy Mutu, man, I win the lottery. You got a son. Bring you someone to share them. When I tell Jimmy that story, I said, Jimmy, man, I didn't know. Jimmy, Jimmy said, What you think about me? <laughs> he said, I love my daughter too. I need much of you. <laughs> so, anyway, it's about time. But in the interest of brevity, beyond that, you know, we always hear a story about Kelsey Village. That's true. The truth of the matter is the bigger the village, but you don't create the village. 
Others create a circumstance where you become a part of the village. So in my case, the village might have been my godmother in Ross Corner, who my mother couldn't afford to pay my school fees in St. John's. My godmother paid. My mother didn't hurt. It's my godmother. It's the village. I can't go on tonight about how large that village was. But then the village keeps growing. And so I'm a university student in Halifax. And I hear from Perry Christie and Bernard Norwich. But they got this idea. Thank you, man. When we go home, the sun we got from more than just our party. From more than just our party. We came in a call. Today, Sean mentioned it, but today, so many people ask me. What, how does that happen? What, what, why do we have another unicorn? What, what happened? I'm not sure I do. I do know that's what happened. And then you go on, and the village keeps growing. And you meet people along the way. And the truth of the matter is, the village keeps growing just through things we learn in Sunday school. You know, you know, you don't create, you don't manufacture a village. It just happens. So many people in this room, I can get through all that. Everyone there has some story with something that gives rise to village. And then <clears throat> a lot of people don't know, but to an extent, I had I had no ambition in nineteen seventy-two. Contest an election. But listen, I didn't have that on my agenda. They go keep from the story. I go to see Carlton Francis as the Minister of Finance. Because Badley Roberts, himself, Bismarck, and a couple of us, and listen, man, we're going to build the country's first air conditioned shopping center. We had the land on Independence Highway, somewhere in there. I talk in the Carl Francis, I tell him that he listened very kindly. He said, if I mind staying behind after the meeting, I said, okay. He said to me, he said, there's a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said, no. We met last night. And we want you run in the election. And so that created some problems for me. Because that was in my agenda. I didn't plan that. But whatever way working out. I didn't plan once I was in, I didn't plan to exit when I did. I didn't see it as a five year thing. I had the safest seat, like Sean said, I had the safest seat in the country. And then people like my wife, fruit cake. So the fact of the matter is, this real man who was in 1977, he and I saw some things. I saw some things. And Clement may not have written about it for his measurable long lives. A lot of people in this country don't know what that's about. Me. I was about me. And I was about me because I did things then to the point where, gentlemen, let me tell you all about it. You're looking after me now, be careful. 1977, Lyndon Pinnon is about as powerful as you can get. Lyndon put him on the phone and say, Frankie, man, you're doing something. If you do this, this is like cutting off my arm. And if you cut off my arm, I got to cut off both your legs. Lyndon Pidlin from his mouth to my ears. And this reckless young man would say to him, I guess I can learn to walk me over there.
And when it all come down, he take my nomination and all the rest. When my mother go to see Finland, guess how she started? She, she, she tell me about everything. She go there. What my boy do? That's up in the room. What my boy do? And so the fact is, in all these things, people, it's not in room. Now, I'm not going to ramble long, but just some home. Listen to what these people First thing I said, look at me. Look at me. The first thing he said and wrote about God. You all notice that? The first thing you said, he gave God to pray. Am I right? It's for God. It's for God. The fact of the matter is, if I didn't, if they didn't take my nomination in 77, who knows what I would do? Who knows what I would do? In 1997, I ran again. And truth be told, I only ran for one reason in 97. In 97, the fact of the matter was, I know the PLP didn't stand a chance in hell. I'll just let them have this place on lock. But the fact of the matter is, look at it. God Premius, Madeline Sawyer, there are any number of us from my generation say, listen, man, at least we got to put the best things we could for. Why we ran? But I tell you something, Mr. Brandon, if I tell all you, when I ran in 72, when I ran in 97, it was a book in me, it's about the difference I found. The difference in the electorate in 72 and 97 was as far as you could see. By 97, general, man, general, you better have some money in your pocket. No such thing. In 72, people brought things to the MP. In 97, the MP was broke. You better go look for money. So, the point I'm making is, I lost. Today, when Chicago Lang called me, I said, man, I thank you so much. Oh. So, I'm not going to ramble on too long. Let's just say, he talked about God. Look at the moment. What did he say? This is what he said. This is the best point of God. Opportunities. That's the question. What are the opportunities? You all remember what he said? Now, if you stop to think, you stop to think how many of his of men his age would give that answer? How many? Young Bohemians of this age see it that way. The wonderful thing for the country, for him to say it, is there's credibility. There's credibility. If I say it, people think I brag it. So listen to him. Yeah. Uh, no. Thank you. Yeah. So let me end with a few remarks that we'll give you. See, it's interesting about this is you know there's some scripture on doing. And I can't quote the exact scripture. I told the son we should have seen it and to help him. But but the fact of the matter is there's some scripture for I summarize it also. In fact, you get my, I keep you mentioning. Everybody ain't gonna know. But let me tell you something. I don't care how much you tell people to keep their mouth shut, they can talk it. They can talk it. You see the vicar general there? I remember one time my wife and I 
made a donation to the Anglican Diocese. Archbishop, not Bishop, Archbishop Gomez from the pulpit, from the pulpit, say, now I know Frankie and Sherry say this is anonymous. This is what he say. He say, I ask the Lord forgiveness. And he say, what we do? And quote the figure. And then use it. Use it. From scripture to talk about. It be those nice. He wasn't saying, do what Frankie and Jerry did. Open thing about the widow's mind. And I'm sure you how God works. Sharon and I are walking out of the church with some cathedral. And a lady was in the front of us. She didn't know we were right there. Did you know what she was doing? She said to the person next to me, it's Frank, no, I'm sure you that. I think we're going to be a big one. This was showing something. She said, see, the bishop did what he did, made light of our request. I'll tell you a second story. When we took the letter to the vet, I remember the promise of a making a donation to the college. We left there about Quarter to one that day. For, for 12 30. I turn on my radio right back. On Zedness News, the Minister of Education, Alfred, says, reading my letter in Parliament. Reading the letter in Parliament. So she may have called me to that president of the say, say, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> but that's the minister, and I was so excited I had to share him the letter. So he'd take the letter and go into Parliament and read it. The point I'm making to me is maybe for them, the first time I heard Marla Butler name was about Marla Butler giving people money in the hospital. Marla Butler didn't talk that. Malo but me ain't talk that. But people's sense of gratitude is what it is. Is what it is. So you can't condemn them for it. My final point is this, because I could go on the ride. But my final point is this. At the University of the Bahamas, then time was from you, I was not answering the appointment. Recall the night, so man, one of the family the night, Sunday night. We tell him, well, he just come over and take the convention. He started by saying, The Lord tell him, The Lord tell him, call me. So the back of the body, Tomorrow morning, 9.30. So, what I have, I told that story once or twice, but I'm drawing it once, right? Thank you. Again, I should have God with Because that was one of the most liberating, interesting, exciting, whatever you want to do it, job I ever had. Made some brilliant minds at that university. Got me down to some brilliant minds. And that's the basis for us doing this research thing and so on. So, made brilliant minds. So, ladies and gentlemen, my point was this. Do not you think that village? All for God. Our family motto is Preke et Labore. Latin, we will translate that by prayer and by word. The name of Rosanna 
by prayer and by work, which no enemy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sir Franklin. Ladies and gentlemen, we've almost come to the end of our program this evening. I beg your indulgence just a few minutes longer as Ms. Kristen Jones comes with our vote of thanks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Prime Minister, members of the cabinet, honorary and esteemed guests. On behalf of Jones Communications and Affairs and the entire Ordinary Film Committee, I would like to extend our cordial gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us tonight at the Civil Society Awards. It's been an exceptional evening filled with inspiration, celebration, and the recognition of outstanding contributions to our society. A special note of appreciation goes to our sponsors and partners whose general support has been instrumental in bringing this event to fruition. Your unwavering commitment is to the betterment of civil society, and that is truly commendable. We also express our gratitude to the dedicated staff of JCN and everyone behind the scenes who has worked tirelessly to ensure the smooth execution of this evening's proceedings. Their collective efforts and contributions are a testament to the power of unity and collaboration in building a more equitable and inclusive society. Please enjoy the cocktail reception with musical accompaniment by the Royal Bahamas Police Force Band following our ceremony and, and, and I invite our honorees once again to approach the podium for photographs with well wishers. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the Jones Communications Network. Good evening. I consider Sir Franklin to be both a friend and a colleague. I've been fortunate to have served under his board leadership at the College of the Bahamas, and then again under his philanthropic leadership as chair of the Wilson Family Foundation, whose generosity supports research at the University of the Bahamas. Sir Franklin has many strengths, but I want to underscore the one with which I am most familiar, his gift of vision and imagination. In his life, he has consistently demonstrated the ability to imagine a future that's different from the past and better, and he has always been committed to building it. He also does so with unmatched grace, because that's just the Wilson brand, demonstrated by Sir Franklin, Sharon Lady Wilson, and the entire Wilson family. Congratulations to Sir Franklin Wilson from all of us at UB who admire you and benefit from your vision. It is with great pride and joy that the rector, vestry, and members of St. Barnabas Anglican Church extend their heartfelt congratulations to Sir Franklin Wilson on being named the most outstanding philanthropist in the Bahamas and JCN Person of the Year 2023. This prestigious recognition is a testament to Sir Franklin's unwavering commitment to giving back to his community and his dedication to making making a positive impact on the lives of those around him. As an active and engaged member of St. Barnabas Anglican Church, Sir Franklin has consistently contributed to the mission and ministry of the Anglican Diocese in the Bahamas. His unwavering support has played a crucial role in ensuring that the legacy of education and community outreach continues at what we now know as the Della and Stanley Wilson Preschool at St. Barnabas Anglican Church. The preschool, formerly the day school, has evolved into a thriving educational institution, providing quality education to children in the community with the support and generosity of individuals like Sir Franklin. 
we are grateful for Sir Franklin's unwavering support and commitment to St. Barnabas Anglican Church and the wider community. We are honored to have him as a member of our parish and proud to see him recognized for his outstanding contributions. This special broadcast of the 2023 Jones Communications Civil Society and Person of the Year Awards has been brought to you by the following sponsors. Sunshine Holdings and its subsidiaries, Sunshine Insurance, Sunshine Finance, and Arawak Homes, the Bahamas Striping Group of Companies, the FML Group of Companies, Fidelity Bahamas, Sun Oil Limited, Royal Star Assurance, the Patmore Group, Caribbean Bottling Company, Gastro Care, the Cancer Society of the Bahamas, Summit Academy, Bamboo Shack, the University of the Bahamas, JBR Building Supplies and Tops Lumber, Premix Bahamas, Nassau Glass and Bahamas Aluminum Manufacturing, St. Barnabas Anglican Church, RBC Royal Bank, and Kalina Financial Advisors.